Hi, my name is Cecilia and I will interview Natasha Hens. Uh, she is my friend and she works in the apartments where I live for one year. We are going to talk about the feng shui. Uh, hi Natasha, hi. I want to let me know if you know something about feng shui. Well, I don't know a lot about feng shui, but working in the apartment industry, I do work with a lot of people that, that come into um, the apartments looking for a new home. And um, what I believe feng shui is, is the art of decorating your home using colors and um, f making your home flow um, in a fashion that is comfortable to you. But I don't know, um, I, I think it's an art or science Yes, it could be. It's, it is defined as an art or, or science. Chinese. Uh huh. Is that Chinese? Science. science. Uh huh. Yeah. So um, I really. I work at Alexa and Sterling Ridge. The colors here are very bright and vibrant. There's a lot of oranges and reds. Um, at my own home, I love the color blue. Blue is a very soothing color. It's um, a very calming color, and so therefore I like to use a lot of blues in my home. Yes, okay. Um, so do you consider interesting this art or science? I do. I consider it very interesting. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I'd like to learn more about it. Of course. And why do you think correct uh, feng, shui, feng Shui could affect on one's mood or behavior? I think it can affect your mood because I believe the fire colors, like red is a fire color yes. that will make you, um, I, from what I understand, it can make you hungry. Um, red is supposed to, um, I, th I think it makes people even angry. Um, like if subliminal so message. Strong, if it's color. so strong. Well, you, you, but, do, oh, you have a lot of red in your mm -hmm. environment. In your environment. Um, and so, therefore, that's why I like to use a lot of blue colors, but yes, that's just... Because they're in, relaxing. Or, it's very relaxing. So, you, you know are. something about the meaning of the colors? It is A important. little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. And have you considered at one point of your life to look for a designer who helped you to decor your house according to the right function? I, I, I could if I could afford it, but I, I really can't afford to go have someone design my home for me. But what I like to do is get ideas from, um, I like to shop at World Market and um, Pier 1 Imports and different stores like that. Um, and just kind of, even at the room store, you can go to the room store and look at their decorations and stuff to get an idea of the color schemes and things like that. Yes. But I, I, as far as hiring someone to decorate my home, I'm not that, I guess, much into feng shui that I would need someone to come design my home yes. for me. Okay. Um, if you get into a place, you can infer that those places decorate or not according with the right feng shui? If I arrive somewhere... Yes. Um, to my taste... I can I can say yes or no. I mean, I've um, like for instance, my mother her home is very cluttered. She has stuff everywhere. There's no feng shui. I mean, it's no, because not you have to. It's too cluttered. Yes. So there's no flow. There it just it doesn't work for me. But she just needs a bigger house. <laughs> okay. And what about uh, religion? What do you think about? Uh, if it's a good idea to practice feng shui, if you are, uh, if you believe in some religion, um, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe that Jesus died for my sins. Um, I'm a Christian. I am uh, non-denominational, and um, I don't think that if you practice. practice feng shui, I don't believe that that's a sin. That's my opinion of it. Okay, the same as me. <laughs> uh, finally, can you give to my audience some recommendation or comment about this topic that we are talking about? Um, I would say if you um, start off with a blank slate and um, in your home, 
I think that if you just go with what works for you, it's going to be different for every individual. Um, but if it's, if you're someone who maybe you don't know how to decorate or you feel like um, you maybe need help with decorating, you can't afford someone to help you, come see me. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, you could um, always um, ask a friend or someone who knows something about it, or you can go online and Google, because nowadays you can Google anything, and you can Google feng shui if you can spell it, and um, and learn about colors. I, I know there's more to it than just colors. Um, I think that yellow, I think, is supposed to be... Um, a happy color. Yes. And no, I think Sony happy. It's a fire. Or it is a fire time. color. Okay. Um, and then, I mean, there's just so many things you can learn online. I think that you can go online and learn about feng shui. I'm really happy with the design of my home as far as, you know, the color schemes and the art that I've used. I think you you want to be simplistic and not put too much decorations in your home um but there's so many styles there's different ways of decorating and feng shui um i guess um help yeah it helps okay yeah thank you natasha for your time you're very welcome no problem my pleasure